Hi, my name is Oluwa Joba and you're welcome to Gospel Keys Easy. So today, as you can tell, I'm doing something really different and I hope you guys like it. So I've always wanted to do something on the African style of playing and here it is. And I just hope that you guys really like it. And the African style I've just done is called High Life in Nigeria. And if you loved it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and ring the notification bell. So before we go into the full tutorial, please let me know in the comment section right now what you think about me doing a full structured course on the African style of playing. So if this is something you would like to see in the near future, please let me know in the comment section below. So now let's go into the full tutorial. Alright, so you're welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we will be looking into three things. The first thing we will be looking into is rhythm and the second thing we will be looking into is chords and then thirdly is the hits and stabs. So these are the three things I've done while playing to, to those two songs. Okay, so when playing the keyboard using the African style you need to put in some rhythm else it's going to sound boring. So. And as you can tell, I did some rhythm that sounded like this. Okay, and by the way, this song was done in the key of F sharp, okay? Okay. And one thing you'll notice is that the African style has a peculiar rhythm, okay? You want to have a nice rhythm going on in the background and the bass also has to be really groovy and really something that can make you shake your head, you know? because it's, it's all about getting inspired right there on the spot. When you're playing African style, you want to have some rhythm going on like this. Something like that. Also, you want to have a nice electronic piano sound because that really suits the African style. And by the way, for this African rhythm, I wouldn't say that this is the kind of rhythm you would hear in all African churches, okay? I'm from Nigeria and this is how we would typically play our African style in Nigeria. So just have it at the back of your mind that this performance has been done by somebody from Nigeria, okay? So let's go back to the rhythm. And sometimes I will jump to the left hand side of the keyboard to do the modulation wheel. So I do it down like so. And it has to be perfectly timed. And when you're playing this style of music, you want to be able to play chords with your left hand. So if this is something you cannot do, this is something you need to work on. And I'll also let you know that when you're playing the African style, you don't really need to know a lot of chords, but you need to know the kind of chords to play, okay? So let's talk about the chords now, okay? So I will show you a few chords that are really peculiar to, to this style of music. And I will say that you can really get creative, but you need to have some, some elements of this African kind of feel when you're playing the style of music, okay? So let's talk about the chord one. Okay, so you can play a basic chord one, okay, and generally the chords are basic chords, okay. So we have a chord one, you can play your chord one like this. You can do this one as well. And then it really sounds nice when you play something like this. So this is F sharp, A flat, B flat, C sharp, and on my right hand I have 
A flat, B flat, C sharp, E flat, and F sharp. Okay, so you want to add the six. You want to add the six to spice it up. And almost all of the time you play normal chord five. So this is just a C sharp major chord. Okay, and with your chord six, you can play a simple chord six. And here I'm adding the two. So that's a E flat minor. I'm adding the two and the five as well. Okay, so that's a nice chord six. Sometimes you can do this to, just to give it another flavor, okay? And I have F sharp major seventh with the two on my left hand, on my right hand, E flat minor. I would say that chord one, chord four, chord five, chord six, they are really important, okay? Because these are the most common chords when it comes to this African style of music, okay? So you can play your chord two like that as well. That's a good chord two, just a simple one. Chord two, chord three. If you have to play a chord three, the basic one will, will do, okay? Alright, and then for the chord one, that's a good chord one as well. You just have to do this, you have to do this almost all of the time. Okay, so on my left hand I have F sharp, A flat, B flat, on my right hand I have C sharp, E, B flat, and C sharp. And then with your chord four, you want to add the two as well. So that's a normal chord four. That's B major. And then you want to add the two to spice it up. Okay, and then when you play your chord five, Okay, so if you want to get started practicing this style of music, you could do something like this. Okay, and you want to do this as well, so I'm taking the E flat minor, taking it down one step. Take it down one step one more time, okay? Okay, so you want to do your chord four like so. Add the two. Okay, and then you want to do... And then you want to do a C sharp dominant. sometimes you can do this as well so I'm playing I'm playing B flat minor over the C sharp chord three okay that's my chord four okay and then with the rhythm play a normal chord 4 on your left hand and then you could play a chord 2 here on your right hand okay and then when you make it full like like this so I'm playing a full chord 1 on my left hand on my right hand a full chord 1 like this it really sounds nice when you do this and I'm playing a normal chord 4 chord 5 okay chord 4 chord 5 
okay let's talk about the hits and stabs as well okay as you can tell i already did some some of the hits and stabs okay so these are the hits and stabs so you want to do that a lot with the african style of music and then for the first song i i did this So these are hits and stabs that you can actually memorize and you can do them yourself because this is something we do all the time, okay? Okay, so you just have to learn these things and get really creative with them. And for the second song, I did this as well, trading my sorrows. This is a rhythm we really do a lot. You just need to find how this can fit in your music and you throw it in and you're having fun, okay? Okay, this is what I'm doing. Simple chord one, F sharp on my left hand, on my right hand. Simple chord one, simple chord two, okay? So I do one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, for the chord five, I'm doing a simple chord five, C sharp major, chord six, B major over E flat, chord seven, C sharp over F. Okay, so you want to find a song that when you do this, it fits in and then all you just need to do is this. If it doesn't go with the song, then you don't really have to do this. Maybe the first one will be good enough, okay? And that's just a simple... And you can play this to any chord, okay? Chord 6. Alright, so I believe that you get the whole gist of playing this African style. So if you guys like the African style and you would like me to do a full course on this subject, please let me know in the comment section and I will be coming up with a course on African style very very soon. Okay, so I want to say thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.